What do you mean? You wish you had a dog of your own or something? No, that's not what I meant. Just forget it. I humbly request for Mr. Cake to caress my head. Please make me your pet, Cakey! Whoa! Slow down, sister! What exactly do you mean by pet? Just what it sounds like. I want you to own me and treat me like an animal. Wow, perfect. You rephrased it and I'm still completely lost. Yes, I couldn't really tell you why, but it's very nice. Cakey? A little reward for always being such a sweetheart. You said you were surprised but not put off. That there was nothing bad about it and you didn't hate me, right? Though I never would have expected you to figure out my secret. You realized I'm a hardcore masochistic pervert! I've always had a feeling about you. You're nice and understanding. So I thought you could be the one. The one who could accept me for who I really am, flaws and all. Don't tell me. When we saw that dog... That's right. I was envious of the dog being scolded by his master. Must be nice. I want to be leashed up and treated like a dog, too. Is this real life? Sayuki! What the hell are you doing with your shirt down? I'm right here! Hold up. Is that a dog collar? I beg you. Please make me your pet, Keiki! Huh? Remember the book I took from the library? I thought that perhaps a maid was the modern-day equivalent to a loyal dog. Sounds like a giant stretch, and yet, here we are. I've decided I'm going to become your maid! It looks like this disobedient mutt has angered her master. You should probably punish her. Uh -huh. Torment me as you see fit. I only ask that you be as cruel as possible. Is this why you came here? Now then, tell me your first order! Cool, I only have one request. Change into normal clothing. I'd be happy to oblige. But it's kind of hard to change while wearing these handcuffs. Then I'll unlock them. You held my unwilling body down and violently oh, had your way with me. That was my first time, too, so I was frightened. <gasps> what the hell did I just hear? Nothing! I just slammed a dumb wall! Mm -hmm. Besides, <gasps> I have every right to use the library. Uh, hey, this is getting kind of weird. Oh, how so? Like, you just seem to be really handsy lately. Yes, true. I'm marking you with my scent. That's how one indicates ownership. You attract way too many girls! <sighs> Wait, why are you licking my face all of a sudden? I'm marking you, silly. I'm replacing the smell of other females with my sweet scent. Oh, your cold demeanor is so soothing, Why'd you master. blackmail me like this? Was it all just to get me here? Why do you need a reason to come and see me? <laughs> you never needed a reason to come and see me before. What do you think? I don't know. What am I supposed to think? It's cute, isn't it? I guess? In a surprising kind of way. If you do decide to become my master, then I'd let you have all of me, mentally and physically. Wait, physically? Yes! I'd do anything for you. <sighs> Even things normal girls might shy away from. That stuff happened. <sighs> That's a classy way to put it. I'm afraid I might have taken things a bit too far. It's extremely shameful for a lowly pup to attack their owner. We won't allow you to disgrace him anymore! Come on, Cakey, let's go! No way! Cakey is my property, so let's go! thieving cat! What? Shut your mouth, you masochistic, filthy dog! Excuse you? What even is my life right now? It's your fault! I'm not following you. It's true that I was doing something naughty, but it's because you don't pay enough attention to me, you meanie! <sighs> Pets can get really anxious when they don't feel their owner's compassion. How about you decide what ride we go on this time? <sighs> I wouldn't want to be too mean to my pet and make her miserable after all. You called me your pet? <laughs> and I get to pick? And came by today because I want you to love on me. Uh, alright, guess I follow you. And how exactly do you want me to show you affection? Easy. Treat me like a puppy dog. Nuh-uh. Sayuki! I order you! Thank you, you for today, Lift Master! <sighs> uh... <gasps> About petting me on the head. We can try that. Going in. Oh, yes. That hits just the spot. I'm glad you like it. Congrats. You deserve it. 
I might enjoy when you treat me meanly, but I also like it when you're kind. Yeah. You'd make this pupper extra thankful if you rubbed her belly. Well, this is certainly a thing. What made you think I was master material? I first sensed you could be the one the day you joined the calligraphy club. I couldn't help but grow fond of that sweet underclassman. He'd always come by to visit me. Anyway... Care to explain? Because having you pamper me like this fills my heart and makes my insides all warm and fuzzy. This must be why doggies like it. A gentle touch reminds them how much their masters love them. I know it was surprising, but I'll never regret asking to be your pet, misunderstanding or not. Keiki, in my heart, it was always you. Huh? Us masochists have our own sense of pride. We don't give ourselves over to any random person, only those who we consider worthy. You're the only one fit to be my master, Keiki. Sayuki, what are you doing in my house? Wow, you sleepyhead. It's our house. Right, I forgot. Well, think back. When you walked me home the other night, you were such a tease. I was totally ready for a healthy spanking after you caught me running around commando all day. To be honest, I was counting on it. Uh, after what went down at the amusement park, I had to make it right. When I graduated, we made it official. Her last name isn't Tokihara anymore. It's Kiryu. I'm a third year student, and I'm also the president of our calligraphy club. Who is your love confession for, Miss President? An underclassman. He's a year younger than me and very cute. Also, he's a member of the club. Once upon a time, we were classmates. Now we're married. It's been a while. Can we? All right. Come. A plan to stretch out the game. That's the stretch! I realized you raise the expectations, but you stop every time you're about to deliver. Then you focus every bit of attention on Koga. It's because you want me to be jealous. I ran into your sister at the store. She mentioned that you were bedridden. Didn't mean to trouble you. Oh, please. We have to look out for each other. Let me take care of you. He's a little naive whenever I'm trying to play with him, but I love that he's such a kind person. Don't say love. It really gives me the wrong idea. Oh boy, here comes the passion! What are you trying to pull? I'm keeping my master warm like a good little doggy. Silly. Huh. I'd say it's getting more hot than warm. <laughs> Look at you, you're red as a tomato. Wait. Do you mean to tell me this is the reason you've been acting cuckoo lately? You think this is all some elaborate kinky plot to blue ball you? Yes, that's correct. <sighs> Guess the joke's on me for showing concern. Sayuki? You always come to my rescue whenever I'm in trouble. So when I saw a chance to return the favor, I had to pounce on it. I can't do much, but I can stay by your side. That's so sweet of you. All I want is for you to accept my feelings, and in return you can have every piece of me! <laughs> Roughly translated as, be my master and I'll be your loyal dog. If it makes you feel better, you may bury your face in the comfort of my cleavage. Uh, way to ruin the moment. <laughs> Out like a light.